Hi, I'm Pratham and today we will talk about this film. There is a thin line between what can be considered an experimental film and what cannot because the guidelines are so abstract, unintelligible and even esoteric. Some films even have the essence of both traditional as well as experimental cinema. Moreover, it is such a wide-ranging genre that defining it almost defeats the purpose of the genre itself. But in a general sense, these films experiment with some aspects of the filmmaking process, such as editing, cinematography, or sound design. Oh my god. Oh my god. Experimental films are made to create an emotional response or to provoke thoughts about the medium or concept of the film itself. But we are not here to take an academic take on the subject matter, but rather to understand the psychology that goes into making the film. So the next question arises, why do filmmakers make experimental films? There are many reasons. It can be creative freedom, spontaneity, personal expression, or maybe the filmmaker is trying to find a unique cinematic voice. There are no wrong answers as such. But the primary goal of an experimental filmmaker is to produce a unique piece of art. There are no restraints with experimental cinema because our primary focus is not on making technically perfect films or on expressing ourselves fully. The experimental filmmakers challenge the viewers with their notion of art and what they consider cinema. For example, take this excerpt from Louis Bunuel's autobiography where he writes about his film Anshan Andalou. One thing about experimental films or films in general is they are or should never be about what the filmmaker wants to convey, but rather what you perceive as a viewer. So, why do not many people watch experimental films and why should they? To answer this, take for example this equation. A person who is not having a background in science will never fully understand the concept behind this equation. This does not make this equation any less valuable. Likewise, for experimental films, because of the lack of understanding among the viewers, they are unable to appreciate the film entirely. We are also used to the films that try to grab our attention quickly or are somehow rooted in the things we see daily. Films thrive on narrative, images we can understand at a glance and performances that mirror our own experiences. Take them out and what is left is unintelligible. And one of the biggest problems is our preconceived notion of what cinema can be. Cinema is a newer art form when compared to paintings or songs. We are used to the ideas of abstraction, ambiguity and symbolism in them but not in cinema. This reminds me of the famous line from one of the greatest experimental filmmakers of all time. Just as you will expect jump scares, spooky music and creepy scary places from a horror film or jokes from a comedy film, from an experimental film expect, well, the unexpected. As I said earlier, experimental filmmakers challenge their viewers with their notion of art and what they consider cinema. This brings me to the last question. Do you, as the viewer, have the courage to accept it?